Hello everybody, this is Amel, and in this video I'm going to show you how to solve the longest continuous increasing subsequence problem. So, given an unsorted array of integers, find the length of the longest continuous increasing subsequence subarray. So, for example here, they give you this array that is not sorted. So, the output of the method has to be 3. Why? Because the length of the longest continuous increase in subsequence is 3. For instance, here you can see that it is continuous 1, 3, 5, and it is increasing because 3 is bigger than 1 and 5 is bigger than 3. So it is a continuous increase in subsequence. And there's another one which is 4, 7. But this is shorter because this is of length 2, but this is of length 3. So the longest continuous increase in subsequence is 1, 3, 5, and its length is 3. And don't get confused. Sometimes you might be thinking, what about 1, 3, 5, 7? It is an increasing subsequence. Yes, it is an increasing subsequence, but here they're asking you for a continuous one. And this is not continuous because, as you can see, there's a 1, 3, 5, and then there's a 4, and then a 7. So it is, to be continuous, it has to be you know, uh, without interruption. In this case, uh, the method returns a 1 because, as you can see, there's no, um, the only one is 2 and its length is 1. So how can we solve this problem? Well, we can solve this problem in big O of n time where n is the size of the array and we have to have a, a variable count. So we go through the array from left to right and we check if this element is bigger than the previous element. If that's the case, then I increment count because that means that this subsequence is continuous and is bigger and is bigger, it's still bigger, it's still in increasing order. But then if I find that this element is not bigger than the previous element, then I have to reset count to 1 because I have a new subsequence. So that's the main idea. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. So if you want, you can do some node validation. It, it's good practice in an interview to do node validation. So if nums equals equals no, or nums dot length equals equals zero, then return zero because there's no subsequence. Then I'm going to have integer result gets a value of 0, count gets a value of 0, and n gets a value of nums dot length. So result is going to be the length of the longest continuous increase of sequence, and count is going to be uh, the length of this subsequence, of the current subsequence. So every time that I find a bigger su subsequence, I have to check if that subsequence is bigger than the final result and update result accordingly. So I'm going to go from left to right in the array for integer i because of value 0, i is less than norms that length plus plus i. Okay. And at the end, I'm going to return the final result. So, I have count equals 0. So when do I want to increment count? I want to increment count whenever uh, an element is bigger than the previous element because that means that the continuous subsequence is increasing and also in the first position I can say that I have a subsequence of length 1 so I'm gonna say if i equals equals 0 that means in, if I'm at the first position or num sub i this element is bigger than the previous element num sub i is bigger than num sub i minus 1 then I want to increment the count. And whenever I increment the count, I want to check if by incrementing the count, I already have a bigger subsequence than the previous longest increasing subsequence. So I'm going to have to update the final result as well. So result gets a value of math.max of what I had as the previous result and this new count. Else, 
if this number is not bigger than the previous number, that means that uh, this is not this is a new subsequence. This is not an increasing subsequence. So I'm gonna reset the count to one. Count gets value of one. So I'm gonna submit it. I'm gonna run the code. Okay, it seems to be working fine. Then I'm gonna submit my solution. Okay, so this is working perfectly. Uh, so uh, please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.